Today's imaginative prayer from Jared Patrick Boyd's book, Imaginative Prayer, continues our theme that Jesus is an unexpected kind of king, that he became king through love and forgiveness. So go ahead and close your eyes, and let's take a few deep breaths together. Father God, thank you for this time that we get to sit and use our imaginations to glorify you. Lord, I pray that you would open our eyes and our minds and our hearts to hear your spirit clearly, that you would help us to see and to hear and to feel exactly what you want us to experience this morning. Okay. Now imagine that you live in a village in distant country. This isn't a time when people play video games or drive cars, but it's a time when people rode horses and children played barefoot on dusty streets. I want you to imagine this is a time when soldiers dressed in big shiny armor and they carried swords and shields. It's a time where lands were ruled by kings and queens and war often occurred. In fact, the land that you live in, the village that you live in, has just had a war. Imagine what it would be like to be a boy or a girl during a war. There's some big news today, and everybody's gathered in the town square. They're waiting for the announcement. And they hear that the war is over. But your king has died in battle. You remember the king well. You remember when he left your village on a giant horse? He was dressed in fine clothing and he wore a purple scarf and he carried a sword for battle and he carried a shield and he rode on his horse followed by lots and lots of men he seemed very strong. He was covered in shiny armor. Picture this king in your mind. Try to remember what it was like to see him leave the village with the other men and go into battle. People are saddened that this king will not be coming back. They announce that a new king will be coming soon, but Nobody knows when this will be. Everyone leaves the center of town and goes about their business. Everyone's happy that the war is over, but they also seem a little anxious to meet the new king. What would it be like to meet the new king? What will he be like? Will he be kind and gentle or generous? Or will he be mean and harsh? Will he treat others poorly? Imagine now that you're walking along a road outside of the town. There aren't a lot of people who travel this road, so it's pretty quiet. You notice from a distance that there's a man on the side of the road. He looks like he's been badly beaten. Someone hit him on the head and stole his money. He's badly hurt. You're a little afraid to get too close because your mom and dad told you you shouldn't talk to strangers. And this man is a stranger. He doesn't look well. You notice there are some other men who see this man lying on the side of the road. But they do nothing. They cross to the other side so they don't have to see the man up close. No one has stopped to help this man. And you begin to wonder, what should you do? Should you run and get help? Should you try to help the man yourself? And then you notice Another man is coming down the road. He's traveling all by himself and he's riding a donkey. 
most men ride on horses, so a man riding on a donkey is a little bit funny to you. And you wonder, what sort of man would ride to town on a donkey? But the man on the donkey notices the man who's been beaten on the side of the road. And you watch as he gets off his donkey and he kneels beside the beaten man. He takes water from his backpack and he rinses the man's wounds. He gives the man something to drink, something to eat. He takes a towel from his backpack and gently wipes the man's face. And then he uses the towel as a pillow and place it under his head. You watch the man go back to his donkey. You wonder, is he leaving? Oh, please don't leave, you think to yourself. But he doesn't leave. He's found a bandage in another bag. And you watch as the man gently bandages the hurt man's wounds. He is so kind and he's strong. He lifts the man from the ground and carries him to his donkey. You watch the man as he walks with the beaten man on the donkey to the nearest motel. You follow him and you see that he pays for a room and for food and for medicine for the beaten man. And then he leaves, riding the donkey into town. You follow him there too, wondering, who is this kind man? And as you head into town, you see the man who is riding the donkey and kindly and gently caring for the man on the side of the road. He's now climbing up and sitting down on the king's throne. They're giving him a crown. He, he has a crown on his head. This is your king. They say his name is Jesus. Jesus is a very unexpected kind of king. He's the king who came to undo the power of death. He's the king who came to defeat the power of sin. Jesus is the king who defeated the accuser, and he is the faithful king. Even when we're not, it's his faithfulness that gives us life with God. And love and forgiveness is how he became king.